Hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I'll be reviewing the XA-38 Grizzly. This is a currently ranked 4 battle rating 3.7 strike aircraft in the US Air Force's tech tree that costs 2980 Golden Eagles and comes with 15 backups. In this review, I'll be going over everything that you need to know about it, including its stats, how it plays, its strengths and weaknesses. I'll give some scores in several key areas and then I'll give my final recommendation and if I feel this vehicle is worth purchasing or not. As always, if you don't mind, please consider subscribing if you'd like more content like this, as I always greatly appreciate it. But with that said, let's get into the review. Now to start, I'll place the stat card here on the side of the screen. Important things to note are its armament, rate of climb, and its turning performance. Now for how it plays. This is a large lumbering aircraft that has armament and flight characteristics that make it essentially only useful in ground RB. In air RB, it is largely unusable due to its poor maneuverability ability, a lack of decent offensive armament to go after fighters, meh defensive turrets, and a subpar bomb load. Of course, you can go into Air RB with no bombs in order to go after enemy bombers, but the rate of climb and general performance is somewhat lacking on the Grizzly, not to mention the 75mm cannon, which can be very difficult to aim, especially against aircraft. On the other hand, going into Air RB with bombs is essentially a death sentence, at least on larger maps, as it kills the modicum of maneuverability that you had. Actually, just playing Air RB with this plane is essentially a death sentence, but equipping it with bombs is the final nail in the coffin. I'm not saying that you can't get kills with this plane or even destroy a base, but the Grizzly lacks the maneuverability to consistently get kills or even get hits against most enemy aircraft. It lacks the higher air spawn to consistently kill bombers. It lacks the bomb load to consistently kill bases, and it lacks the defensive armament to defend itself with any consistency. On the other hand, this plane performs much better in a close air support role in Ground RB. In fact, I would say that's the only role in which you should use the XA-38 Grizzly. The lack of bombs doesn't really matter as much in Ground RB, as precision with them should still net you many kills. Further, the 75mm cannon can go through plenty of armor and still has HE filler with its APT shell, because this is essentially the M61 shell from a Sherman. With 20 shells for its 75mm cannon and up to 4 or 500 pound bombs, the XA-38 Grizzly should earn numerous kills against ground targets each time that you use it. The only issues here are that fine adjustments, of which are absolutely crucial for accurately aiming the cannon, are difficult to perform due to the twin rudder setup on the tail, as well as the overall lack of maneuverability from this plane. Otherwise, it's actually pretty competent in CAS, whereas not so much in Air RB. But that being said, let's get into its strengths and weaknesses, and first for its strengths. As an extremely powerful 75mm cannon that should be able to pen most enemies in ground RB and get one hit kills. Second, it has two dual-mounted remote control HMG defensive turrets. Third, it is somewhat obtierable in ground RB for those that are good with its cannon, though of course the Grizzly will be even more of a sitting duck in higher BR matches. For its fourth strength, it has fairly good straight line performance and top speed. Fifth, it can carry a decent bomb load of up to four or 500 pound bombs, which is a bit more effective in ground RB. Beyond this, it has excellent vertical control due to the enormous tail. And finally, it features premium RP and SL bonuses. Now for its weaknesses. This is an absolutely huge aircraft and makes you a huge target for pretty much anyone on the enemy team. For its second weakness, while not slow, the XA-38 is incredibly sluggish in terms of maneuverability and will be eaten alive by actual fighters if you attempt to enter a dogfight. Third, the two different types of shells carried by the 75mm cannon have vastly different muzzle velocities at 618 and 453 meters per second for the AP and HE respectively. This will make aiming very difficult if you're used to one or the other, and especially if you're using them in conjunction with the HMGs. Aiming with the 75mm is difficult without this muzzle velocity issue, especially in air battles. For its fourth weakness, the flaps are destroyed beyond 333 kilometers per hour, which makes maneuvering even more difficult. For its fifth weakness, a full bomb load of 500 pound bombs is oftentimes not enough to destroy a base in air RB, especially in up tiers. Beyond this, a 
fully equipped Grizzly will sometimes cost upwards of 800 spawn points in ground RB. For its seventh weakness, it has a poor roll rate, which makes fine adjustments when lining up for a cannon strike very difficult. For its eighth weakness, it only has two frontally mounted HMGs, which is entirely insufficient for a plane of this type. And finally, this aircraft is extremely difficult to aim using both the cannon and HMG simultaneously. It is best to use them separately. Now, with that being said, let's get into how I score this vehicle. First, for air RB and dogfighting, I give it a dismal 2 out of 10. In general, you probably can't expect to get a kill with this aircraft in air RB, at least not offensively. It will happen on occasion, but those matches will likely be the exception to the rule. Defensive kills and assists will happen with somewhat more frequency, but there simply isn't enough defensive firepower to guarantee kills against enemies tailing you. While a 75mm cannon might seem good in attacking enemy bombers, it is a very difficult weapon to aim and has very low muzzle velocity, especially for the HE shell. When not using that, you only have two 50 cal HMGs that don't even have the advanced ammo belts that are loaded with incendiary tracers. Worse yet, if you want to equip bombs, they will kill your already poor maneuverability on this aircraft and lower its speed, which itself is just enough to stay away from fighters when unburdened. Even if you do make it to an enemy base, there's a good chance that your four 500 pound bombs won't be sufficient to kill the base and a much better chance that you'll die on your way back to reloading at your own friendly base. This thing is simply not meant for air RB. Now for close air support, I give it a 7.5 out of 10. On the other hand, the Grizzly is pretty damn good for CAS. Because being a huge unmaneuverable target doesn't matter as much in this mode, especially at this BR, the Grizzly does quite well in it, which one would hope being that striking ground targets is what this plane was meant to do. Regardless, the 75mm cannon is much easier to aim against ground targets, especially being that you'll be using the much higher velocity and much better AP shell in this role. Further, the 500 pound bombs are good enough to destroy most enemy tanks at and around this BR, so long as you're decently accurate. The only real downsides to the Grizzly in terms of CAS are that it is still relatively easy prey for SPAA and fighters that will join the fray, but also that it lacks bombs that are larger than 500 pounds and can only carry four of them. Further, the cannon takes a bit of practice to use as it requires a good amount of precision to get a kill. Regardless, the Grizzly is made for CAS and it does does quite well in that role. Now overall, I give it a 5 out of 10. I give it a 5 out of 10 because I'm weighing its CAS capabilities a bit more than how it performs in Air RB. Because close air support is essentially what the Grizzly was made to do, and really I think that's also what Gaijin had in mind when they released this vehicle to the player base. With that said, CAS is the only thing you should really be bringing this plane out to do, as it lacks the bombing capacity and maneuverability to be good in Air RB, even a little bit. Now, with that said, do I recommend the Grizzly? Yes, but only if you intend on using it exclusively for CAS, because it's pretty damn good and fun in that role, but know if you intend on using it almost entirely for Air RB. This is a very weird vehicle, because it's a rank 4, meaning that it can grind through early jets, and it costs only 2980 Golden Eagles. Further, it's one of the most one-dimensional vehicles in-game, in that it can pretty much only do CAS very well, and it's only 3.7 BR, at least currently, which makes the Grizzly either among the lowest BR rank 4 vehicles, or the absolute lowest BR rank 4 vehicle, both of which are great things, actually. In all, if you enjoy cannon-based close air support, then this is a vehicle that I would recommend picking up, at least when it's on sale. If you like bombs, the Grizzly can still do quite well, but just don't expect to be able to defend yourself against enemy fighters beyond using somewhat lackluster turrets, and because this vehicle really doesn't have as much survivability as one would hope for a strike aircraft. I would recommend buying the BTD Destroyer if you want a more balanced aircraft, as it can do pretty much everything a little bit better than the Grizzly outside of, of course, cannon B C A S, but it is a rank 3 aircraft, so it can't grind through as much of the tech tree as the XA-38. You could even look at the PBJ-1H in the regular air tech tree that's also 3.7 BR, has a 75mm cannon, can carry a much greater amount of smaller bombs, has four times the offensive HMGs, although makes a sacrifice in terms of performance. In all, however, I really like the Grizzly for CAS, but I do not like it for Air RB. If CAS is your sole intent for the XA-38 and you plan on making it an integral part of your ground RB lineup, then go ahead and purchase it. If this doesn't describe you, then I would recommend staying away from the Grizzly unless there's a massive sale and you have spare GE. 
Heck, I would probably only buy it for CAS if it's on sale, but that's just me. It just isn't worth nearly 3,000 Golden Eagles for a roll that won't net you a large amount of RP and SL. This is just a very niche aircraft, and you should probably expect it to be that way if you decide to purchase it. But that being said, thanks so much for watching. If you don't mind, please let me know what you guys think about this video and the XA38 in the comments below. I'm very interested to read your takes on this unique aircraft. But either way, thanks again, and I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.